Hey everyone, hope you're doing well. This is Matt Seth. We are back with an another video, T Shark Challenge 2 directory from Triacme. Before we dive into video, please make sure subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you will never miss any update from me. Let's go. So this room is all about this. Test your skills uh, to analyze the network traffic. So using a T Shark. So let's go. Um, first, we need to start the mission. And we need to uh, use the files, um, which is pcap file, which is located on the uh, attacker mission. So for me, um, for I don't know what's the reason, but it's the mission is a little bit slow for me. So I have downloaded the uh, pcap file on my local mission. So we're gonna move from there. So I'm just gonna complete this, and then we'll go for the task two. Whoever uses an attacker mission, the file is located on desktop and exercise file folder. So let's go. I have downloaded the file on my uh, T Shark C2 directory, which is saved on the Triacme root directory. So this is the file. So let's go and answer the questions. So, what is the name of the malicious, suspicious domain? Um, so, for this, I just opened the shark r for directory this is the pcap file and y is used to filter i'm gonna filter the packet dns packets alone and then we're gonna use um the fields um, um and e is to mention the field id which is dns query name so and then enter so we have these many domains so from this you can see uh analyze this and you can find out easily this looks suspicious i just wanted to copy this and go to virus total and open it paste it here and enter you can see easily it shows malicious so just want to answer this by uh we have to defang this so we have to open a cyber chef add a recipe um defang url and paste this url here copy this and paste it over here and then enter okay what is the total number of http uh, requests sent to malicious domain um for this what we can do is we'll open um terminal again and t shark r and the we need to filter out http request and http host contains um this is the host copy that and paste it over here and then um so then pipe this out to wcl so you have 14 so 14 um requests we have http request so just type 14 and enter okay then what is the ip address associated with malicious domain for this um let's open terminal and t shark r um, directory and this is the pcap file and what we have to do now is we need to um what they're asking the ip address okay so um http request um, no tp host contains um this is the domain just paste this here and we need to filter this out by the fields and e equal to so we need to use dns a to filter out the uh, domain a record so enter it didn't work um let's see um so i think um i have made some mistake that we need to use um, t shark r but in the filter we need to use the um, dns um, query name 
contains the domain and we need to add a field which is dns um, a now enter I have made a spelling mistakes on contain um contains enter so this is the ip copy this and go to defang ip address and disable this paste the ip and copy the ip go to dry acne and paste it over here and then enter then um what is the server info of suspicious domain let's check the server info um for that t shark r um, equal to the directory uh, sorry the pcap file and then we need to add a field which is um we're gonna filter this out mm, i think http um server and then we need to leave a space here and then enter um so we need to add a fields uh, here and enter so we have so many uh servers but there is lots of empty lines so what we can do now we'll pipe this into awa and nf this will uh, remove all the empty lines for you and display the uh, output enter okay so if you see here i think it's a long uh, thing um, i mean it's a long uh, string so i think you can copy this and try it out copy this server and paste it over here and enter okay this is correct answer follow the first tcp uh, stream in ascii so investigate the output carefully and what is the number of listed files so for this uh, we need to use t shark again r we need to read the file which is this and then um, we need to add y which is filter we need to filter out this tcp uh, stream equal to zero and and z equal to um tcp sorry follow um tcp as uh as key and comma zero and then enter so this is the um conversation actually with within the uh, devices so if we check clearly here it is trying to um uh, interact with 123.php um uh, vl auto.exe and vl auto.php so what is the number of listed files so it's three enter and what is the file name of the first file and it's one two three um dot php so we have to use the defang format so submit so what is the name of the downloaded um executable files so if you check here um vl auto.exe so just uh, type um vl auto dot um, exe so this is defang format so format okay what is the um sha256 value of the malicious file for this what we have to do is first we need to uh, export the objects from the http request so the shark uh, we need to read the packet and uh, so export objects and then we need to use http comma so we're going to save this in same folder so dot and we're going to create an folder called output and enter so it's ls we have uh, downloaded i mean uh, exported the object successfully so now from this we have to extract the sha256 value so for that sha256 sum um the thing is output and the file should be um vl auto.exe so enter so this is the sha256 sorry 256 value just copy this and paste it over here and then sum it okay now search the sha256 value of the file on virus total um let's search just search it here enter okay so what is the question um so what is the peid packet value 
so this should be there in details so pe id packet values dot net executable so just copy this and paste it over here and then enter sorry uh, we have to paste it over here and then enter search sha256 value of the file on virus total and what does last line sandbox flag this as so then go to virus total and we have to check the sandbox on behavior if you click that um if you go below you have the value the sandbox last line flag uh which is malware trojan so just copy that and paste it over here and enter so we have completed this room successfully if you like this video please subscribe and share to your friends thanks for watching have a great day